Dr. Patel, I would like to talk to you about gum disease. Uh, it's also known as um, periodontal disease, gingivitis, stuff like that. But here's what I would like to talk to you about it. Almost every dentist, when a patient has gum disease, he will point out to the dentist that within a year or five years or whatever it is, nobody knows how fast things progress uh, with a particular patient, um, he will <coughs> eventually lose uh, all or most of his teeth. And that is a very expensive um, thing to replace them and blah, blah, blah. And while this is true, it looks to me that the effect of a gum disease, which is an infection in the gums, which is that yellow, reddish, ugly bus, which, you know, if you cut yourself and you get all infected and it, it gets all ugly, it, that is in the gums, which is the gateway to the blood vessels. Nothing goes faster to the blood vessels than right around the gums area, which, which is, oh, that's why they're so red, so blue, you know, it goes right into it. So you have that infection going all through your body, down to your liver, uh, to the brain, to the heart, everywhere. It has apparently proven to have premature babies, underweight babies. In fact, in California, there are even um, um, uh, 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 dead babies found, uh, stillborn babies. Um, diabetes seems to be affected by it. The whole immune system seems to be affected, meaning lowered, and the smallest little wind gets the guy a flu and a cold and, and, and all that stuff. It just it seems to be very, very bad. It makes sense to me, and thus, to me, it looks like that the effect of the gum disease on the rest of the body is far, far worse than the effect of losing the teeth, which in itself is, of course, uh, uh, a host of problems too, and uh, lots of money down the road. But what is your take on what I just said? It's, it's, uh, it's funny, uh, Helmut, you, you, you bring this up. Uh, periodontal disease, we will see in a lot of patients, they will come in, and when you walk into the room, you can smell it. I don't know how they stand, how they, their wives and their friends stand that when we look in the mouth, there's pus coming out, or when we just touch a, touch a gum, there's a lot of bleeding. The first thing I say to these patients is, look at, if you went to the bathroom and you peed blood, would you be sitting in my chair or would you be running to ER? We need to do something about this gum disease. Gum disease causes a lot of other problems. You know, it causes your blood pressure, it causes uh, plaque in your arteries, it, it uh, exacerbates your diabetes. You, your white cell counts are always higher now because you've got this chronic condition in your gums. And since you have this chronic condition, your systems, your, war, your warriors, your white cells are constantly fighting this battle. They don't have time to fight other things. So then you're constantly tired. You're never energized. You never want to do anything. It's all down to your gum disease. We need to do something about your gum disease in order to improve your life. If you don't do anything about it, as a consequence, of course you lose your teeth. But in the meantime, you're losing your life. You're losing your health. You're losing your family. You're losing your friends. They don't want to come near you. It smells. Don't you see that? So okay. we should treat you. And our hygienists are so well trained and it's so easy nowadays to take care of gum disease and maintain it. Right. I've heard that the gum disease treatment isn't as bloody anymore. It doesn't take uh, two, three days of hurting and all that type of stuff. And on top of it, you know, we, 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 we're talking it, this, what you just said doesn't go on when it is super, super bad. Like you said, people come in and, and you just press the, 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 the gums and the blood comes all over the place. That's already a quite an advanced stage. There, there are much lesser advanced stages, but the infection is still there and it's still that yellow, ugly, reddish any, any time. It still goes into the body. It goes in, it, let me ask you, does it go into the body in two ways? One way is, obviously, there it is, it's in the blood vessels and it goes right into. Another one is, you take a nice steak, you chew on it, you mix it up with the pus, and it goes right into the stomach and spreads from there too. Oh, what a, what a beautiful dot of, of, of that. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it, yeah, right? Anytime, anytime you have even the slightest bleeding from your gums, you have gum disease. You brush your teeth and you have bleeding. The first thing you want to think about is, why am I bleeding? 
you don't take notice of it, but if you bled from anywhere else, you would run to ER, right? So why is it that you're not paying attention to the bleeding from the gums? We need to take care of that. That's the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have no type of inflammation in your body and you start with the gums because that is very noticeable. Right, it's good. It's, it's interesting that you said if you would bleed anywhere else. Like if a person would have a small, let's say like a, a dime, you know, a, a penny, uh, if he would have an infection, a skin problem on his skin, and more than a week or two, he would probably go to a dermatologist, as he should. Um, but in the gum, he has a, a, people tell me that a, a, decent, a decent gum disease, almost as big as a whole hand, he has this huge infection and he does not want to fix it. Right. And most of the time it's because of ignorance. They do not understand the significance of what they have. Uh, well, they maybe, have, maybe and, it's and the sometimes pain. they just chew gum and they use mm. mouthwash and, and nobody tells them that their breath smells. Well, and, maybe, and, maybe it's the dentist fault. Maybe the dentist says, hey, you're going to, in five years or so, give or take, lose your teeth. And the patient goes, okay, I have time five years. Just like in this well, current... The significant yeah, yeah, yes, yes, but the significant thing is not not losing your teeth, it's you losing your health, it's, right. it's affecting your general health, and, and that's why we, we need to take care of it. And, right. and, and it's a sorry state when you're not educated uh, enough by, by the person that you've seen before. Uh, but maybe, this is my, my easy... point is maybe the average dentist isn't quite as insisting and graphic about making sure the patient knows that... Yes, five years down the road, you're going to lose your teeth, but right now you're ruining your body. Let me ask you this. Have you noticed that uh, in the medical field, actually in the surgery field, you know, the people who do hip replacement and the people who do knee surgery or for that much uh, a tonsil operation or a bandex operation, that those surgeons, not the surgeons who take out bullets in the emergency room from people who just have been uh, loaded with lead, um, but that they, before they do a surgery, more and more over the last few years, will demand a clean bill of health from the dentist. And they're not concerned about crooked teeth. They're not concerned about a cavity or two. They're concerned about gum disease because they have learned that if there's a gum disease, their surgery in the knee could fail because the infection travels there or that the body in general is so weakened that if he does his surgery, the body just simply might die or at least get major complications. No, Have you seen no, that happening more and more? No, no orthopedic surgeon will ever replace any hips or knees or do any type of orthopedic surgery. No heart surgeon will touch a patient without uh, having a clearance for that the patient has no gum disease. And that is, that is exactly why they are concerned because the bacteria get into your blood system, affect these organs, and affect them tremendously. And, and therefore, everybody is now much more aware of gum disease. And therefore, it's very, very important to take care of uh, your gum disease, whether you have just slight bleeding or a lot of pus. Both right. conditions can be taken care of very simply in our hygiene department. So if, if surgeons don't want to touch you when you have gum disease, because in the old days when I was young, it was more like they looked for a lung infection. They looked for any type of infection. They didn't really look for gum infections yet. Um, but that's kind of relatively reason that they say, oh, a gum infection is like a lung infection. It just simply kills the body off uh, just from a different part. Um, but so the patients out there should really realize, I think, that if surgeons don't want to touch your body because it could inhibit, you know, then look, not everything has to be so super drastic. Um, like in, in the university in Japan, they found out that persons who have gum disease and who have the HIV virus, which doesn't mean they have AIDS, just the virus, but that the virus turns into AIDS much faster if they have gum disease. Why? immune system lowered. Not every case is that strong. Not everybody has the HIV virus, thanks God. But if it does so drastic bad things, like premature babies, like stillborn babies, why don't we do it just to have a better immune system for the next flu season? I mean, wouldn't that make a lot of sense? Of course. Uh, controlling gum disease is, is, is extremely important for your general health. And then, the, and then that is what patients fail to understand. 
and and uh, it's it's very very important to understand that if you do have any bleeding if you do have bad breath if you have any kind of bad taste coming from your teeth you really need to come in and get your hygiene done and control your gum disease it will improve your energy it will improve your ability to fight uh, the flu virus or or normal cold viruses it will improve a lot of things in your life and controlling gum disease uh, cannot be stressed more beautiful well thank you very very much for letting us know about it candid and um, straightforward um, sure that will be a help to uh, lots of people out there and make them um, you know fixing their gum disease at the earliest stage that they detect it um, thank you that's just that's just all there is to it. Thank you very much, Dr. Patel.